Hello, Exchange Beauty Tribe. Welcome to another incredible beauty live. I am your host today, Emily, and I am so, so excited as every show because I love talking about all things beauty. And I'm here with one of my favorite people talking about a brand that has one of my favorite eye creams. Um, I'm here today with Cindy Buck from Shiseido. Cindy, how's it going? Hi, Emily. Thanks for having me. It's going great. I'm excited to be back. I'm too. I feel like it's been a minute since you and I have talked and been together. So I was just looking forward to this all week. And from what we sort of discussed before the show started, it sounds like we're talking about some, I like to call them OGs, right? Some good base things to always have, but some some new pro some products I don't think we've discussed on the show before. So true. So yes, there are some definite OGs. I love that. Uh, <laughs> some must-haves from Shiseido. It's it's fun when we use terminology like OG, like I dig that, <laughs> with a company that is 150 years old, right? <laughs> so it's, it's amazing. Um, all things new, right? So definitely talk about some of our tried and trues, our faves today. We'll also share uh, some foundation finding expert tips. Expert tips. That's the new word. That's the tips and tricks of the trade. Emily and I will be sharing with you some different foundations and how to pick the best one for you and how to prep your skin for our foundations. Yes, I am so, so, so excited. And before we get started, um, everyone watching from home or in store, welcome. Thank you so much for being with us today. Um, be sure to give this video a like, and we will love to see where you're watching from. So drop your name and, and where you're uh, joining us from. And if you have any questions for Cindy or you want to give a shout out of a product you just love from Shiseido, we want to know that too. So drop that in the comments and we will get to as many as possible. So let's get to it. I'm so, so excited, Cindy. So what, what is the best Shiseido steps? What is step one of these incredible products? Absolutely. Well, although we want to focus on our complexion category today, right? We're moving into fall. We're coming out of summer. Oh my gosh, Emily, I'm sorry. Sidebar. Yay, fall. We got that cold front yesterday. I know. Oh my gosh. And so everyone watching from home. So we are Texas gals. So Cindy's in Houston. I'm in Dallas. And we, this is the first week we've been under a hundred degrees. So I can't believe it's still pool season um, where we are, but it is getting cooler and I'm really excited for that season change. Yes, me too. You know, the rest of the country enjoys that first day of fall. Can't wait to see where you guys are watching from. And if it's been a little, a little cooler in your area for a while, pumpkin spice has been out, right? But this is kind of that right. first taste for us. <laughs> we'll still hit yeah. the 80s today, don't get us wrong but it's amazing but you know when our skin has to adapt to that change from for us that hot sticky muggy weather um, we saw some 110s 112s wreaked havoc on our skin this summer and now we're moving into a different time of year so we can't just think about complexion we have to think about treating the skin underneath and doing it backed with 150 years of expertise from my favorite brand as a brand ambassador from Shiseido. Um, you know, when we start to even think about prepping skin for foundation, it's like from the beginning, right? We have to think about proper cleansing. Emily, I know you and I have talked about clarifying cleansing foam before. We've talked about cleansing Shiseido style. When it comes to clarifying cleansing foam, a little bit goes a long way. And that light adjusts when that bright white bottle hits the camera there. But clarifying <laughs> cleansing foam is going to give you, with just a touch, I use about the same size amount of cleanser as I do uh, toothpaste on a toothbrush. Like that's a good judge. And just that bit foamed up with water, you want to activate that cleanser. Uh, what you'll see with a clarifying cleanser from Shiseido is a skin that's instantly smoother. It still feels hydrated, 
It never has that, that uh, tight feeling to it of that like ee, squeaky, squeaky clean, right? Um, but it feels hydrated, soft, smoother, and you can feel a texture change with a great cleansing foam that leaves your skin hydrated, never compromised. That's what clarifying will do, and it's for all skin types. So let's think about morning and night. Emily, have you ever, you, maybe yourself or friends, do you have folks that you've talked to that skip cleansing in the morning? Yes. And um, I used to be one of those people and then we became friends yes. and I learned that that's like <laughs> a big, big no, no. Um, but yes, there are people in my life. Uh, I happen to be engaged to one of them that just refuses to cleanse their face in the morning. <laughs> Yes. Well, and it's, it's one of those things, like it wasn't a test, but I, I had a feeling you'd go there. Yes. You're just doing it <laughs> twice a day now. Right. Uh, because, you know, by night, you guys, we perspire, our skin is going through a little bit of a renewal process. And so in the morning, by using just that small amount of your cleansing foam, lather it up, Get that lathered goodness and just really massage on the skin. You're going to cleanse impurities, cleanse excess sebum without drying. Uh, you'll get a little of that uh, dull skin that's ready to slough away, come off very gently, no harsh scrubbing. And uh, so in the morning, it's important. And then, of course, by night, we have the added layers of sunscreen and makeup that we want to make sure that we're gently cleansing from our skin without compromising the moisture barrier. So a great choice to start with, clarifying cleansing for all. And then something brand new that, uh, that Emily and I are talking about together for the first time is Oidermine. So I think this is going to be a little more of a reveal for, for Emily as she feels this for the first time, right? It is. I'm really excited. So first of all, you know, I love my packaging and this is a beautiful bottle, but I am really interested to learn what this is and why we're adding this into our skincare routine. Yes. So Oidermine, revitalizing essence. I just put a little bit on my, on my fingertips because I had treated the back of my hand and I love to feel when I describe. An essence is a liquid step post cleanse, but this feels weightless, kind of silky. It's a softener or it's surging hydration deep into the skin. Okay, but it's not going to leave you that that drawn up tight, astringed or toned feel. Not at all. Our, our cleanser really did its job to balance the skin. But when it comes to an essence or a softener in Shiseido speak, Oidermine is going to give you this deep surge of hyaluronic acid. Emily, we love that super ingredient, right? Yes, we do. Yes. <laughs> Now, how does that feel? I noticed you also are experiencing the aromacology. Can we, yes, I was gonna, so it feels great. I put it on the back of my hands as well, but can we also talk about how incredible this smells? But like Shiseido always wins with the smells because it's a really nice, pleasant, subtle, not overpowering smell. Mm -hmm. You know, we do incorporate natural botanicals and obviously botanicals that are great for the skin, but also some that are, are there to elicit a, a response. The way the products smell, our Japanese scientists have, have created these aromacologies to give you just this instant kind of a, a soothing response with both the Oidermine and the next product we'll look at. And so you can smell, you can smell the botanicals inside. So this one is kind of a light green, little lotusy kind of scent. There's, there's some florals, there's some green botanicals, uh, but you're smelling all that goodness from nature that just kind of calms as you use it. Now, you notice I put a little bit on, on a cotton Back to what the Oidermine does, because it is, it is exciting to experience a product for the first time. Um, Oidermine gives us that surge of hydration in a brightening formula. It has vitamin C along with that hyaluronic acid. 
and a balancing formula. So this formula is going to balance our microbiome using fermented kefir. Uh, that is a Shiseido exclusive ingredient right now. Uh, kefir extract that's been fermented balances the good and bad bacteria that naturally occurs on our skin. So a softened hand is a hydrated hand. You'll see an immediate glow. Now keep in mind, we'd already be nice and smooth after cleansing and we're allowing this hydration to be absorbed deep into the skin. You know, softeners not only have those benefits of uber hydrating, just surging the surface layers to give you this plump, this smoothness, this brightening effect with vitamin C that's so healthy, but softeners will also cause any other treatment product that follows to absorb much deeper. So I know that these should be two products to add to your cart uh, on, you know, our exchange site there and take advantage of that. Emily, we've got links popping into chat too, don't we? So that they can easily shop we do we do we have links it'll take you right to the product um and you can put it in your basket um and then also if you are watching in store right now or you're planning to go to store today um we definitely have shiseido and select stores and we have beauty advisors ready to assist if you are shopping in store we do have something really special um with an 85 dollars shiseido purchase there is a gift with purchase. Um, and that is in-store only, select stores, and that is a gift with purchase of $85 or more of Shiseido. And you will not, you will not be sad about it. It will be an excellent gift and you'll have all these incredible um, products. So in-store only, but you are able to shop Shiseido, shopmyexchange.com and in-stores. Awesome. Good deal. And actually, good deal, right? So yes, I hope you take advantage one way or the other. Make sure that you're getting those prep steps in every morning, every night. And cotton, you know, I used our Shiseido cotton. This is, I mean, it's like a cult classic. You know, every cotton square, I don't know if I've talked to you about this before. I'm like, it's 123,000 individual cotton fibers that are water processed and jet processed to stay woven together. But you're not going to get any of that cotton byproduct in this. There's no other ingredients besides pure, never bleached Shiseido cotton. We love that. <laughs> I love that. Yes, yeah. sold in packs. Um, so stock up on cotton. That is one of those, uh, my favorite for nail polish changes, anything liquid for uh, using a softener or an essence as we looked at with Oidermine today. Um, so many different uses, anything that you apply that's liquid or lotiony, cotton is going to apply on the skin more evenly and not waste your product. What you put on it is released back to skin. It fully flattens out when it when it gets uh, wet, when it has that liquid product inside. So really great little tool, just a little something to make sure we talk about today. You know, we can never do a beauty live without talking about one of our favorite pairs, and that is our Ultimune. For all skin types, this is the perfect partnering, the perfect pair to make sure your skin is foundation ready. And you remember we were talking about that seasonal change. You know, keep in mind from summer to fall now, we've incorporated, I hope, this great new cleanser, this softening essence of Oidermine, and uh, we're already on the way to smoother, more hydrated, brighter skin. Now let's give that skin a boost and use our Ultimune Power Infusing Concentrate. I love this one for face and for my neck. Anything that shows, I'm going to apply this twice a day. Now, Emily, I know we've talked about this one before and the dosage is a generous pump for the face, one full pump, but I always bring in a second one because I love to apply this on my neck as well. And with this one, it is morning and night on that prep skin a cleansed, softened skin. And we're going to apply this in upward motions and massage in. Now, this is another one that has a great aromacology. There's a, a Bulgarian rose water. There's soothing botanicals. 
this is going to strengthen our skin, fortify it against everything that the day throws at it. So it's a super antioxidant serum. It has ingredients that will help your skin behave like a younger, healthier, more resilient skin. We're going to see improved radiance, a glow. I mean, you can see on my hand just that radiance build as we apply our products. A healthy glow. It's going to give us that pinch proof skin, okay? Uh, because it's going to have a firmer, brighter, healthier appearance with that renewed radiance helps with firmness as well i love that and you just can't go wrong with the smells of all the products mm -hmm. i love it and i only put um it on one hand and you can definitely see the difference oh yeah you um, can with and without it this one is glowing a little bit more um so yeah this is fantastic so i can't I have not tried this on my face yet. Okay. Oh, it's the eye version. Oh, not today. I didn't put it on my face today. So yes. I I am looking at myself and I'm like, oh, I could have had a little bit more glow if I didn't skip <laughs> a step. Don't skip a step at home, everyone. <laughs> a little more radiance, a little more resilience, a lot healthier skin for all of us when we use Ultimune for face. Uh, keep in mind that Ultimune also, we've got some sustainability uh, here with that one. You can buy a refill. If you're already a fan of Ultimune, you know, just keep your lid and your pump and you can just uh, buy a new refill bottle. So hold on to the little lid from that and not to backtrack, but I think I will because I do that. You know, Oidermine is also refillable. Just thinking about this sustainable approach you can keep, you mentioned that lovely packaging, hold on to this, hold on to your lid, and we sell a, um, a very eco-friendly refill that goes inside of your Oidermine. So keep that in mind. Uh, Shiseido does put a lot of thought and care into all of our packaging, but uh, many of the products are going to save uh, from packaging waste and save you a little money as well. And that's always helpful. Love that. Yes. It's a win-win. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Now, something that, um, you know, Emily reminded me of that she she never goes without, and she says she's getting a little lower, is the <laughs> Ultimune Power Infusing Eye Concentrate. Uh, that is my baby right there. And I did not skip this step today. I just want everyone to know, <laughs> did not skip this step. Never, ever skip this step. <laughs> I love that. I love that. You know, once we find those products that that work for us, we see that visible difference, like stick with it. Right. It makes a difference. And we won't regret that in 10, 20 years to come. You know, something I've, I've been reminded here in my 50s is today my skin is going to look like I want it to look in 60 years. Do you know what I mean? Like sometimes yeah. we pick out every flaw, but my gosh, in 10 years, if I have the skin that I have today, how grateful will I be? And so by using these antioxidant products, these friction fighters, like this one is for the eye area, doing a little bit of massage, boosting microcirculation, making sure that I'm always prepping my skin, looking at my products and, and changing as need be based on the season, my skin's going to appreciate me in the future. And uh, I, I think already it's it's one of those things that I'm sure that uh, I'm happy I started with skincare over 30 years ago. You know, like what would the difference have been? Right. That's incredible. And I have a quick question, just if someone else is wondering this, watching at home. So you notice when you're applying um, the best product ever. Um, you are using your ring fingers and you're tapping just a little bit, you're tapping softly. So is there a reason we use a ring finger rather than our index finger or our thumbs or all of our fingers and we're not rubbing, we're tapping? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a great question. So when it comes to all of our fingers, the ring finger traditionally 
applies the least amount of pressure. It's one of our weakest fingers. In fact, it doesn't work very well without the pinky sometimes. So if you ever yeah. play, play with your fingers and moving them, it's the least autonomous. It's not <laughs> the strongest. That being said, when you use your pinky finger to apply an eye cream very gently, what you'll find is that your pinky finger is going to be the least amount of pressure in the eye area. I'm going to put a little product up to help my camera refocus. I think I was moving too much. There we go. I think we're coming back into focus. Uh, but that being said, when you use your, your ring fingers to apply a product like Ultimune Eye, what you'll find is it is going to really treat this very thin skin. It's the thinnest on our face. It's going to treat that thin skin very gently. And, you know, I kind of breezed over that friction fighting. Ultimune for Eye gives you everything the face formula gives you. All of that uh, radiance, that resilience, that smoothness, the, the texture improvement, uh, healthier skin. However, for the eye area, it adds friction fighters. That is such a thin skin that Shiseido researchers have found that having that added help, you know, we touch our eyes so much through the day, even when we don't think about it. And having the ability to fight the effects of friction makes a difference. So Ultimate Eye is going to do that for you. You know, Emily was talking about kind of noticing as we all grow a bit more mature that we can see a little uh, uh, change in the eye area without great eye products, right? Yes, I've seen a huge difference. Um, I am not ashamed. It's okay. But I just last week turned another year older. Um, and my I just feel like there's certain parts that are telling me, Emily, you're getting older. But yes, I have used this religiously for almost two years now. And I did have a little bit of a fold. I don't know really how to describe it because it's not there anymore. Um, but I had a little bit of a fold over my eyelid and I started really focusing over here um, as well with this product. And I've just noticed this gradual change. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm 25 again. No, but... <laughs> I feel like I'm reversing, which is good. It's good when you find a product that is almost reversing you. <laughs> right, right. So, I mean, radiance and resilience, you're seeing it in action, right? Uh, and I think when we think resilience, sometimes that's a hard word to grasp, but it's like that means it's, it's giving you a firmer look around the eye area, that pinch-proof kind of plump quality to a resilient skin, right? All right. Mm -hmm. Well, we're prepped. We're ready to look at foundations, which was the goal of our session today. And I want to share with everyone out there, you know, we are we are renowned for skincare and science backed skincare. But 150 years has taught us that skincare ends when we feel perfectly happy with the skin we're in, right? So we always protect our skin. We wanna give it all the love it needs with skincare, but then let's follow that with complexion perfecting foundation. It is an extension of skincare at Shiseido. And every foundation that you can choose from has skin loving ingredients. So let's start with how we would prime our skin for foundation. All right. So let's look at our Synchro Skin Soft Blurring Primer. And I'm going to take this away slow and see if my camera does. It. There it goes. There you are. Focusing. You guys, sometimes I move around so much. These cameras, they, you know, lose us. Now, our Soft Blurring Primer here is going to give us this shine control, but never drying. So there's your balancing, right? It's going to smooth the pores because we all want a little less texture under whatever foundation we use, or quite honestly, even on those bare skin days. And this is going to do that. It's going to give us skin loving ingredients. Of course, it has hyaluronic acid. Shiseido products are known for their hyaluronic acid. And I'm going to use about a pearl size, okay? This is what I love to start with, and I'll warm it in the fingertips, and I'll start with the center of the face. This is where we often see the most texture. So we'll see some fine lines, some expression lines, 
some wrinkles, God forbid, we may see some poor action, things that keep our foundation from laying down as beautifully as it should. Even when we have great quality skincare enhanced foundations, you want to go ahead and get that that formula on the skin. Get a primer on there that will keep the foundation as long wearing as you want it to be. It'll give you this perfect palette to apply complexion smoothing foundations. Um, and quite honestly, this one alone gives a, a soft blur effect. It's like turning on a filter on your phone, um, and uh, but in a bottle. So I love that formula. Keep this one in mind for any of the complexion enhancing foundations I'm about to show you. This is for all skin types and it uses a powder technology to absorb sebum without overly mattifying the skin. So whether you're dry, whether you're oily, you'll love this product. Now, when it comes to foundations, uh, does anybody have any questions out there in chat for us before I jump in? We don't have any questions. We just have a lot of love. So um, Jeanette loves, loves, loves the old immune as do I, Jeanette. I agree. And then um, we just have a, a lot of people watching. Davis Monthan is here. Fort Sam is in the house. Um, so we appreciate all the stores tuning in um, and engaging with our customers um, in store. And we have Sunny, Melissa, Everyone is here to watch. Buckley is uh, Buckley Air Force Base is here as well. So just a lot of love. So far, the only big question we had was the little ring fingers applying. But remember, if you do have a question for Cindy, now's the time to ask. Please put it in the chat, and we would love to get it. Um, we would love to try to get to all the questions by the end of the show. One hundred percent. Thanks. Want to make sure that we cover that. You know, I'm going to start with, and, and I'm almost embarrassed to do this. I'm going to start with a foundation, Emily, that you didn't even expect me to show today. I mean, we kind of shared with Emily, hey, here's a few products we want to we want to show. Uh, I say I'm almost embarrassed to do this, but I think it speaks highly. Oh, you have me so my powder. Look, it's almost gone. <laughs> so that has to mean you use it and that has to mean you love it. Like that's yes. the most authentic way to say, hey, this is a pretty good product. <laughs> that's right. That's right. You know, we couldn't do a foundation finder show without showing our Synchro Skin Custom Finish Powder Foundation. And yes, loud and proud, my compact is almost empty. It's time to get a refill. I guess I got to go to shop my exchange after this too, right? Yes. And so this is a formula that is going to come with an applicator with a lighter side and a darker side. And let me tell you how it works. This is going to be a long wear, 12 hour wear powder foundation that can be hard to find. Sometimes quick powder foundations just don't wear as long. And so you got to do a lot of touch up through the day. But this is going to give you this ability to synchronize with the needs of your skin through the day. Perfectly portable. It's why I use so much of it. I mean, it's just it's on the go and fits in the handbag so easily. But then you've got this applicator for a dry, that's the light side, or wet application, that's the darker side of this cushy sponge applicator. So for dry, I'll just, let's see if I can pick up any on the side here. I can. Let's take this down the nose. I'm going to get a little closer to camera there. And you can see that this is going to give me a natural finish. It's going to take down a little shine and give a little coverage. This is sheer to medium to natural, okay? But if I wanted a fuller coverage from this, I would take the darker side of my, my cushy puff and I would put that like under the faucet, wring it out entirely, okay? I'm not gonna wet my, my palette or my compact, but I'm gonna wet my applicator and it will pick it up and give you more of a medium to full natural to matte finish. So if you're a gal that loves to get a fuller, more glam look, or you like a powder over a liquid foundation and you're wanting to use that powder just in select areas to add coverage, well, this is the formula for you. Custom finish in the Synchro Skin franchise. Skin loving ingredients never dries the skin, long wearing and multiple ways that you can apply. 
uh, multiple shades to choose from. Check out the shades either in person with your beauty consultant at your local exchange. And of course, as Emily said, take advantage of that gift if you can get into a store with Shiseido or go to Shop My Exchange and check out all the colors available online. I want to look at the next finish, though. And rather than being quite as natural to matte, at my age, this is something that I really love when I want um, kind of an, an evening or it's a day at work where I'm not quite as natural. I love our Radiant Lifting in the Synchro Skin Foundation. Now, every time you see Synchro Skin at Shiseido, it is a formula that synchronizes with, with what's happening to your skin at the time. How dry, how oily, what kind of conditions is it in? How do we keep that skin perfectly balanced throughout the day and keep the color true? Emily, have you ever had a foundation that just like the color you thought it matched when you first put it on and then it just doesn't? I think you just described my whole like high school career. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I was like three shades off my entire career of high school. <laughs> <laughs> you know, gently at the at the counters, we used to we used to call that the line of demarcation. We don't right. have that. <laughs> that I used to have that. I did not realize that that was like not a natural line. <laughs> And we would blend that out at the jaw and sometimes not so successfully, right? Exactly. And the bronzer would all just sit like right in the center of my face. Oh, they, you know, God bless Beauty Live. Like, I'm glad that we have these now because, oh, those were the days. But yes, I have experienced that. And I'm thankful that there are products now and how to's to not experience that anymore. Exactly. And, and, and there's more um, foundation colors. It's very more inclusive now. Um, that, like it just keeps evolving more and more and more. So I love that there's just a skin tone for everyone. Yes, and Synchro Skin, the Radiant Lifting Foundation, here it is, is 30 shades deep. So all inclusive shade choices. And there is one that will perfectly synchronize with your skin, sometimes two or three, you know, at this time of year, if you've been fortunate enough to have a vacation and maybe you got a little sun, you got a little sunny, you aren't faking it with the bronzer, uh, you have a little, <laughs> a little tone that's maybe starting to mellow. All right. So you're coming off your summer high and it's just, oh, I'm starting to lose a little of my color, like going into fall. Enjoy your pumpkin spice. You'll get a vacation later. <laughs> And take that color down, take that shade down one, maybe two levels. And let's make sure that you're not carrying that summer foundation and having to blend a line. Now, do you see where I put that on? You can see, okay, oh, that glow. Even mm. though this is a medium and even full coverage foundation, and you notice that I was tapping that on, okay? You can use fingertip to apply. I like a stippling motion where you want more coverage and then gently blending outward where you need a little less, okay? Um, you know, one thing is don't feel like you have to take foundation full face. Um, you know, if you're blessed with this amazing, gorgeous skin, you've been taking care of your skin with Shiseido Skin Care and you don't have to have coverage all over. You guys, you don't have to take it all the way up to the airline and all the way down here. You know, start with where you need it the most and then just gently taper that out. I'm going to show you a way to set that so that it looks like natural skin with a touch of setting powder afterwards and just get that coverage where you want it, where you feel like you need it. Okay. Especially day to day, just get that added glow. You know, with the radiant lifting formula, this is a formula that is made to use some strategic powders, as you say, no technology that's very exclusive to help us have a lifted, more radiant look with light diffusion. And so this won't settle into fine lines or even expression lines, uh, even deep wrinkles as we're a bit more mature. I love this formula for those of you that are combination, drier, normal to dry, uh, very dry even because it will not accentuate dryness or texture, even though you get a great coverage payoff. 
All right, I've kind of been waiting to get to this formula, even though I had to had to add in and show you that powder foundation and how you know usable that is, portable, how much I take advantage of it. But I've really been waiting to get to this newer one. Our brand new formulation for this season, Emily, is our Revitalescence Foundation. Revitalescence is a formula that is going to be a skincare active first formula. So some of you are like, Cindy, I don't wear foundations. I don't use foundation every day. I like my bare skin. I would just like it to be better. Well, how about a foundation that we can show within one week of use each day, your bare skin will look healthier and look better on its own? Yes, sign me up. I'm good. Yes, let's go. Yes. And it had me at skin glow. Like skin glow, I, I, my right? eyebrows started raising as soon as I saw skin glow. Yes. So this is very interesting. So it's, it's basically just enhancing our like our natural skin. This is going to be a light to medium buildable coverage skincare active or think about it like a serum in a foundation type of formula so i'll show you coverage wise let's look at a little bit on my hand and i'll just do a little bit of a schmear here okay coverage wise i picked one tone because you can see i do have some so oh, look at that summer sun on my hands and not as much on my face um so you can see that you're still going to see skin through okay but this is my perfect shade. What is this form, this color that I'm using? I have 210 right now. I've used 230 over the summer, but I'm, I'm gonna step into 210 right now. And you can apply with fingertips, but I'm also gonna show you a tool. Now, let me tell you, this one, I like to tap on first with fingertips because what I'm releasing is the encapsulated skincare actives. When you first put this on skin, you'll be releasing niacinamide and vitamin, vitamin B for your skin, okay? This is the first time I've ever heard of a foundation doing that. So this, yes. is, this is all very interesting. This is like almost like a three in one. <laughs> Yes. So what a great way to, you know, after your skincare to apply your foundation. Now, this one I would describe, as you mentioned with the name Skin Glow, as luminous, okay? Not just radiant and reflecting light pretty, but luminous on the skin, glowy. So if you love that glow look to foundation, this is a formula for you. Also available in 30 shades. You've got that fermented kefir, kefir to keep the microbiome or the surface of your skin in balance, in check, happy and healthy. And then niacinamide, which is a type of B vitamin for your skin that gives you a brighter, less lined, so you won't see those fine dry lines, effect, all right? And in the formula, I like to release that microencapsulated skincare, get that skincare active on skin first, but I'm going to show you a little tip for application. And with any of the three formulas I've shown you today, here is my favorite tool. Uh, for those of you that have seen me at counter, you've seen me at your local exchange, you know Diafude is one of my favorite tools. It is a two-in-one. It is a gel blender, a gel tip, and it is a cut brush. They call it Dia diamond shape cut brush so you get this airbrushed look with it watch i'm going to take one little drop of my skin glow foundation i'm going to warm it into skin i'm just going to put it over things that i've already put on okay let's go ahead and even out my my whole face and give it that skin glow and mimicking fingertip kind of warming it in We'll use the gel blender. This is so pretty and flexible and mimics your fingers. And then afterwards, I'm just going to airbrush that foundation. This little cut right here fits right in alongside the nose. I can smooth the look of pores. Uh, it's going to glide right over any imperfections in my skin, blur that look, smooth it out. But oh, Look, look at that skin glow just, just showing there. We love this effect of this foundation. You know, all skin types, you can be oily and get all of the benefits that you want and still kind of have a glowy finish without an oily finish. 
You can be combination, normal to dry, normal to oily, very dry, and love this one. If the finish you're looking for is glowing, natural, kind of a light to medium, you can build as needed. Uh, I think one of the keys is using a great tool like the Diafude to apply and use just what you need where you need it and airbrush out for the rest. I love that. And I actually, I have that brush and that brush is awesome. And I believe on a platform that is to remain nameless, I believe it went viral. Um, so I feel like we live in a world now where things are going, products are going viral. These are, you know, going viral by real life, not paid human beings. And it is, yeah, so it's an awesome, awesome brush. Um, I love that brush, shopmyexchange.com um, or in select stores, add that in to all the other goodies as well. Just throw that in. You won't be disappointed. Just throw that <laughs> in. You know, just a little care tip with this one because it is my little makeup BFF. So I care for it as such. Don't ignore her. Uh, clean the tip with a touch of perfect cleansing oil. Uh, I, I treat this as well as I treat my fingertips. So I don't want to dry out my nice little gel blender with harsh cleansing. But then this end, you can give it a good wash once a week uh, with a gentle, gentle cleanser. And it's going to refresh that brush. I kind of like it with a little makeup in it. I just find it always works well, like day two, day three. It's kind of like second day hair, third day hair. You know? <laughs> but when it feels like day four for me, you know, it's like wash your brush, wash your hair, right? So care for her. Um, pick up two if you want, because it's going to work on your powder as well. And in fact, I'm going to show you just a little bit of a set. Oh, first, let me show you the product. This is our Synchro Skin. It is a loose setting powder that we have in either a matte or a radiant finish. And what I love about it is radiant is not glitzy and matte is not dry. Now, in the powder, it's going to be hard to translate. Oh, look at that. Do you see the little cloud? Okay, I it's do. micro fine powder behind this almost like a silk screen that keeps it from pouring out. So a little bit will come, but like nice. Not heavy you can seat. save your. You can finally save your product when you not accidentally knock it off your bathroom counter. It's a miracle. I love yes. that. Yes. So it literally is. It looks like a piece of silk with a little camellia logo. You can dip that same brush in there, set that foundation, you know. But before I do on the other side. I love this powder. You know, one of the things that I noticed when I came to Shiseido was how finely milled Japanese powders are. I have never found a finer mill than our Synchro Skin Loose Powder. And when we say finely milled, that means it will not show texture or imperfections. It will actually blur. It's almost mimicking that blurring primer that we started with. So it's a double blur. It's a double filter. Start with primer, end with a set, and I love to make sure that I'm I'm for sure setting right in here so I don't get any grab of a blush or a highlight. I don't get heavy handed because that skin feels like skin, right? Now, I didn't want to put it on this side yet because I want to show you uh, for my gals out there, you're you're like me, you're maybe you're younger, you're in your 40s or you're like me, you're in your 50s and you have seen some shadowing. OK, for me, a little shadowing here. Uh, below this natural smile line, a little shadowing. This shadow out here is not eyeshadow. I have it in my contour, but not right in here. This is just because, you know, naturally I've had some maturing of the skin. You get little shadows that appear. What I love to do is take a little touch of our Synchro Skin Concealer with this great little doe foot. Notice that the doe foot has like a curved shape. It holds a little more product in the middle, but not so much at the end. Okay, and I'll bring this in. I'm using shade 202. Uh, so I'm using 210 in the Synchro Skin and 202 in the concealer. I'm going to swipe a bit on and go grab our, our little tool here, our Diafude Makeup BFF. And look, look at how much of the shadowing that I can minimize. I like it to also notice I'm going in an angle upwards. This gives me a lifted look. And you'll notice that more on, on one side than the other. Looking down there. So get in there and work with light, work with angles, and always lift up. 
and you can see that that's just this instant brightening, especially noticeable in the eye area. I don't like to use concealer first. As an artist, I love to start with foundation only where needed, get a little bit of a blend, and I, I am loving doing that with this new synchro, pardon me, this new Revitalescence Skin Glow Foundation and uh, that does synchronize with skin perfectly as well. And then where I feel I need it, for me, it's usually shadows. Now, occasionally I might have a little friend, you know what I mean? And we can take a little concealer and dab on that as well. But for me, it's usually shadows and I'll just play with light a little bit, play with the angles, add concealer as needed, blend it out, use your diamond shape brush. These are hand cut in Japan and then set with a touch of loose powder with that fluffy end and follow with color. All right, I could share tips and tricks all day long. More so today, we want to help you take advantage. If you're in store of that bonus, our skincare bonus is complimentary with any $85 or more purchase um, after your already low exchange pricing. And we hope that not only will you take advantage of your prep steps of clarifying cleansing and our Oidermine Activating Essence new formula you guys that's going to give you a brighter smoother more hydrated skin follow with our perfect pair for face there it is i'm losing things here we go for face our ultimune and ultimune eye crisscross okay <laughs> And then find your perfect foundation, whether you're at counter or you're on shopmyexchange.com, a quick review of the differences, fast, portable, natural, light to medium coverage can be used wet or dry our custom finish powder, or if you're wanting a little more buildable kind of a medium, even a fuller coverage, depending on how you apply, remember stippling or tapping gives you tapping gives you a little more coverage right whether it's brush or fingertip lift with light with our radiant lifting or what i'm loving especially this time of year is adding that glow back coming out of summer going into fall with our revitalescent skin glow foundation this one's going to give you more light to medium coverage, and the finish is very glowy so we can be natural radiant or glowy or luminous with our foundation choices this season you might find like me that you have a different foundation for different events, different times of day. Um, and we want to support that at Shiseido, help you find those perfect products. Don't forget to add a touch of concealer, lift with light and angles, and set with your loose powder before you hit any kind of color. Thank you so much, Cindy. So there, what I love about Shiseido, obviously, I think I've said this before, is there's just something for everyone. Um, you know, there's people, I prefer full coverage, um, look, there's something for me. People want to keep it more natural. There's something for them. Um, and I love that that compact is versatile. Um, it really is like a two in one. If you're looking for something a little bit lighter, just use the dry side of the brush. If you want a little bit more, right, use the wet side. And this is amazing. And we um, have a lot of great comments um, in the chat today. Wendy heard about the foundation and it's the skin glow, the, the third one you talked about. She heard about that foundation, got a lot of good reviews on that, and she uh, really, really wants to try it. Well, Wendy, here's your sign. Um, right. Definitely try it if you are anywhere near a store, like Cindy said, one of the beauty advisors at um, our store where Shiseido is sold can definitely get you color matched um, and get you on your way. Um, and we also have it on shopmyexchange.com. Uh, Marion loves the Ultimune Serum, as do I. Yes. It's the cutest, beautiful bottles, cutest little duo, and just packs a punch, like really does what it says it does on the bottles. So, and For then sure. the door, uh, when we, I love this comment. When we were talking about if I've ever experienced the, uh, the lines on my face and my foundation not matching. For those that have joined later, I have experienced that. That was me all through high school, just always being three shades, either too light or too dark. And uh, Vidori, thank you so much for relating to me. She says uh, that that was all of us in high school. So I'm glad to know that I was not alone um, in that. I'm thankful now that we have Beauty Lives and we have terrific products. So 
that is totally avoidable. Um, and then there's just so much love and um, Beauty Tribe, it means the world to us that you're spending time with us today. Um, you know, for us, it's it's lunchtime where we are and you guys could be doing a number of things and you've chose to spend time with us and just that means the entire world. So thank you so much, Cindy. It's never, never, never goodbye. It will never be goodbye. It's always see you soon. Thank you so much for spending time with us and talking about all the incredible Shiseido products. Means you, so Emily. Much. It's always good to spend time with you. You know, I could I could talk forever about what we need to do for our skin for future. So I just want to thank all those loyalists out there. You know, uh, man, your beauty tribe, like they love Shiseido and, and we appreciate y'all. Thank you. Yes, and, and we have every reason to love Shiseido. So it's a fantastic brand. Um, Beauty Live, thank you. Uh, Beauty Tribe, thank you so much for spending time with us. And we will see you next week for another incredible Beauty Live show. Have a great weekend, everyone. Stay safe and see you next week. Bye.